Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn two different methods. One is skip and the other one is take method. Let me show you a problem statement. You are working on a UiPath automation project that involves exporting employee data to an external system. However, the external system has a limitation on the number of records it can process at once. To overcome this limitation, you need to implement a UiPath workflow that skips a specified number of records before exporting the data. And here are your inputs. So you are sending this data, this is your input data, to an external system. And the condition here is you first skip two records and then the export size three. That means you will be only sending three records. That means your output should only send C, D, E. Okay, it will skip the first one A and B, two rows, right? And export size is three. That's why C, D, and E should go to the external system. Now, how will you write a link query to achieve this? You will skip two and export three. How will you do that? Let's see that in UiPath Studio. Let's move on. On my UiPath Studio, the very first thing we have to do is we need an input. So on the sheet number five, I have created this input file. You can pretty well type it on your system. So a simple table. So once you have it, the very first thing you read that Excel file and store it to a variable. So I'm storing it to a data table variable. And then we have to write a query which would pass the output to output DT. And then finally, it's supposed to write the output in the sheet number seven. So the sheet number seven, is currently blank. So how to do that? Let's see it on UiPath Studio. Let me minimize everything else. Okay. Let's have a assign activity where I have the output DT and let's see the expression. So here, what is our input data table DT? As innumerable, we'll convert that to data rows. And after that, the method that I have to implement is skip. Now here, we have to skip two records. For this, what I have done, I have created two variables, record to skip integer variable two, export size is three. Using these two variables, we will implement the code. Okay, so skip how many? Which variable is containing that record to skip? So simply type record and control space, we'll give you the variable record to skip is two. That value will come here. Then dot, then I need to take only limited data. So I will use the method called take here and here I would provide the variable export size control space you will get the variable name export size okay so this two variable will work the skip will skip the number of records two and take export size as value three so it is going to take three so after writing all of this this is going to produce the data output as an innumerable of data rows for example if I click on okay you can read the error it says innumerable of system dot data row to type system dot data dot. So we have to first convert this to a data table. So for that, all you have to write is copy to data table. So your code is done. Let me copy the code, put it on the notepad. So what is the situation that we would like to achieve here? Skip two records and export three data right? Export size is three. So this is what we would like to achieve. So the code is written. Let's save it. So our sheet seven is blank. Let us run the code. So the code is completed. Let's go back to the sheet seven and you can see it has skipped a B. The first two rows has been skipped. And then after that C D E, it has got the data because I have said export size is three. So I have got three rows of data. So this is a great learning. If this video has helped you to learn something new, please do not forget to like the videos that you're watching on my channel. And also do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it already. Thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.